Hey Virgo, welcome back to my channel. This is Kelly from House of Virgo. If you're new, welcome. Please do hit like and subscribe. And to everyone else who's been here, welcome back. All right, Virgo, let's see what the saga is in your love life today. Oh, okay. Four of Pentacles in the reverse popping out. Um, so if you would like to get a personal reading for me, you guys, just click the link in the description box below this video and you will be able to find everything you need there. Okay. Um, all right, let's get started. Four of Pentacles in the reverse. Hmm. Letting go. No longer holding on tightly to something. Let's take a look here. Let's see. Please be mindful. These are general messages. Take what fits, leave the rest. Okay. Interesting. We have some reversals showing up here. Knight of Cups in the reverse. The world in reverse. Oh, the King of Cups is back. Nine of Pentacles in the reverse. Three of Pen three of Cups in the reverse. Ten of Cups in the reverse. And the King of Swords and the King of Pentacles. Okay. Listen, you guys. <laughs> it's crazy. If anybody here has a Capricorn sun or um moon venus or rising go over to my moon pie tarot channel there'll be a capricorn reading up tomorrow evening um which i think will be very interesting for you to watch okay so the eight of swords somebody feels trapped feeling stuck okay wheel of fortune in the reverse not able to make some changes not able to eight of cups reverse move on from something stuck in the past this has to do with a love relationship um, or a connection that didn't work out and still being kind of tied to that energy but let's take a look here let's see let's see what the love messages are here there's a lot of up and down energy. This person, um, okay, so we have three people here. So you guys, either you're, I mean, wow. You could be connecting with Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Um, let's see. I feel like you guys have about three people showing up here new people this is really what i feel like is going on all right stay optimistic about your love life true love this is the romance of a lifetime and attraction you are, you attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully give your relationship a chance i'm pulling extra cards wedding the situation involves marriage, chemistry, attraction and chemistry. Oh my goodness. All right. <sighs> okay. So the only, the only person missing here is the king of wands or the queen of wands. Um, but basically the other signs are on the table here. I feel like you there's somebody here whom is trying really hard to stay optimistic, right? About being someone who could be married or in a committed relationship. Really having a hard time staying optimistic about you and they, okay? Um, this person is letting go of the idea that something could actually happen between the two of you. Yet, with the world in reverse, they're not quite closing the book on this yet. So I feel like there's a possibility that there's somebody here who's losing faith. If you're already married to this person or already in a relationship, it's like, still still not ready to close the book on it but is kind of letting go a little bit here okay now i know that might not be something that you guys want to hear um but we'll see how the rest of the messages play out let me see this four of pentacles in the reverse 
Okay, so they just said this person is trying to be more open. They're going to try to be more open with you in October release, but they're, they're really taking their time to come forward to tell you that they love you or they want to be married to you or to offer their love to you. Okay. It feels to me like they're in this position of wanting to do it, getting themselves ready to do it, but it's kind of delayed yet because this person does not feel like it's fully over yet. And they're kind of pulling away a little bit in regards to the situation. Okay, yeah. Look, this is all about opening up. This is how I feel. Maybe karma's bitten them in the butt. <laughs> but they're coming to terms with the fact that they, in order for you two to be together, they have to open up and share their feelings, not be so guarded, not be so, you know, stuck. The major wake-up is happening for this person like a life-changing decision i feel like whoever your person is definitely wants to be in a marriage or uh, a sacred union with you like period <laughs> i feel like this is what they want but they're either delaying or they're they're trying to stay optimistic and hopeful about it something's going on maybe you're letting go or you're not trying to be involved with it anymore page of pentacles in the reverse so I, I feel like as i was talking like you are this is your energy you may not be communicating with this person you're not investing you're not talking about plans or ideas or things that you want out of this relationship anymore some of you have just pulled your energy back okay for whatever reason and i feel like this is making this person wake up a bit mostly to wake up to the fact that they didn't make the uh, they didn't express themselves they didn't reach out they didn't try to offer their cup of love of joy of hope you know they didn't come in and it almost feels like this they're kicking themselves For being kind of a player the knight of cups in reverse is kind of like um scattered with their emotions maybe in with the love and then out with the love i feel like this person is realizing here um they didn't win you because the world in reverse is like really far from victory the game's not over yet though not in a negative way but like the relationship for them is not over yet show me this knight of cups in the reverse okay three of wands yeah they, they just made you wait they made you wait and they're kicking themselves because i feel like a lot of you are just moving on you're like that's it not even made you wait but for some um they were just very scattered with their energy or they didn't They didn't really communicate with you or if they did they were just wishy-washy in their behavior with you all right show me the world the world in reverse here because this is unfinished business here for this person travel delays problems but this is about permanence like in their mind this isn't done yet this isn't over for them yeah see trying to stay optimistic and positive i feel like this person overall is seeing here how like even with the three of wands in the reverse um they just delayed everything they didn't they they didn't have foresight about the relationship with it they, i feel like they just felt like you would always be there there was a lack they didn't make plans with you there was a lack of planning they just let things go and they didn't take any direction in the relationship <clears throat> you know at four of pentacles i feel like this person is like feeling like bankrupt emotionally and is opening up to become more vulnerable hmm. the hermits here 
a lot of self-reflection okay that hermit energy this is like going in for go this person is going in for clarity trying to uh, seek to see to reflect back on the way things went in the past and it feels like they feel like it was their fault and they're also hoping that you haven't fully left yet but like I said I don't feel like they have I don't feel like they fully left like you're still there I feel like they're taking a look at themselves right now and that's Virgo energy so maybe you're connected to a Virgo for some a Leo could have been a Scorpio okay that's the overall energy now what else is here so you have the king of cups hmm true love give your relationship a chance if you are connecting with the king of cups cancer scorpio pisces i feel like this person you are their true love but i also feel like this person acted as if they weren't with anybody or they weren't you know like they were not single you were it for them and yet with the three of cups in the reverse i feel like sorry about that my phone died um so i feel like some of you might have picked up on the energy that this person maybe was coming across to you that they were not single or that they were just only with you okay um and yet they might have been flirting with others or just kind of acting to other people as if they were not single okay that you know they weren't or the acting towards other people as if they didn't have you maybe they didn't even tell anybody about you um so i kind of feel like right now this person is hmm it could be going through some kind of financial setback and working really really hard to get themselves in a good position there's a lot of jealousy and envy and i feel like this person is quite jealous and envious of you yet at the same time they feel like you are their true love there might have been some competition or something maybe you're in a better position than they are in your life or even financially let's take a look at this king of cups I feel like this person is watching you and they're kind of angry. They seem like, I don't know, doing a lot of internal thinking. Let's see. Look, the Four of Pentacles again in the upright this time. Yeah, this person is kind of hiding right now and watching you. That's what I feel. They really have their eye on you. Um, I mean, they're really, it feels like very greedy. They're very greedy, a bit possessive over you right now, Virgo. They don't want to let you go. They don't want to let you go. They want you for the long term. Very greedy. No one else can have you. They don't want anyone else to have you. And I feel like for some, that's why they acted as if they were with you. Um, so that you wouldn't talk to anybody else or be with anybody else oh that sounds real healthy um let's take a look at the nine of pentacles in the reverse here didn't i say competition five of wands yeah this person a mm, little bit controlling there didn't want anyone else to have you um For some, they, this person felt like it was a real challenge to hold on to you. Maybe you're just very popular, you know, or they knew that they could lose you to anybody else at any time. Now show me this Three of Cups. Why is this Three of Cups in reverse here? Maybe they had a drinking problem for some. Um, alcohol dependency, partying dependency, <laughs> that kind of thing. Let's see. Three of Cups reversed. Ooh, King of Pentacles is here again. Hmm. So I will say for some, this person was dressing in some fine threads and going out and trying to impress others, definitely. You must have been dealing with someone who um, was playing the 
if I can't have you, no one else can have you, or I want you, you're all mine. Everything, like your arms, your hips, your legs, your butt, your lips, everything is belongs to me, they may have said to you. And yet they were still kind of flirtatious with other people. And for others, this is just about like with you. <clears throat> they knew that, and I feel like that's why they acted this way, because they 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 knew that there was competition, that you were a wanted <clears throat> man or woman <clears throat> because you're kind of calm and cool and relaxed and you're just, you know. I just heard that song, Everybody Wants Some from Van Halen. <clears throat> <clears throat> Sorry, I'm just like stuffy, stuffy, mixed stuff in over here. All right, so give your relationship a chance. True love. I feel like this person is changing their tune. Like, I mean, not necessarily changing their tune, but I feel like if you're gone and you're not communicating with this person, you're moving on with your life, I feel like this person's going to come in and do battle to try to um, keep you from being with anybody else or being single or having another lover or other lovers. Okay. This person thinks that you're with other people. They, their mindset is, well, if Virgo's not with me, then Virgo must be with others. And that's not necessarily true. Virgo might just be working on Virgo, <laughs> building Virgo's empire, you know, but there's jealousy and greed and envy here on this person's heart. Yet it does show true love in giving this, the relationship a chance and working on the partnership. So, you know, <laughs> Jealousy is a funny thing, isn't it, right? Because I do feel like having a little bit of jealousy, um, just a little bit, like a sting, feeling that now and then, not a horrible, horrible thing, but when it's acted out and stuff like that, you got to figure out, like, what is your situation? Were you dealing with someone who was jealous and controlling? They were jealous and then they were acting out in manipulative ways and controlling. Then this person's you know, don't fool yourself if they tell you it's true love and they want to work on this partnership because they need to work on themselves if they have that energy going on, right? For others, stings of jealousy makes them want to fight harder for you. For others, that could be your story. And this person does come in trying to make something work here with you. But this is with a King of Cups, okay? Now, I want to tell you, there's two other people coming in here for you. And like I said, if you've got Capricorn and any other placements in your natal chart, check out my Moon Pie Tarot channel tomorrow because there's a Capricorn reading that is off the charts. Um, and it involves these three kings. Um, and I think the Queen of Wands showed up in that as well. So if she shows up here, then yeah, definitely check that out. Um, so there's a king of air and a king of pentacles coming in here. Okay. Qu male or female, it's all energy. There's attraction and chemistry. Um, now the 10 of cups is in the reverse. So this feels like two people coming in here um, who are waiting for you to be done with a past relationship. <laughs> You know these two. You know these two people. I know some of you are like, oh, isn't that funny? Look, bottom of the deck, six of cups. So yeah, these, you know, listen, for some of you, you knew these people in your childhood or you, or in other words, you know them and they want to reconcile with you and come back or they want to reach out or they're waiting for you, waiting for you to be done with a past relationship. They're sitting on the sidelines and they're watching. And they're like, okay, as soon as that fool messes up in Virgo's life, I'm coming. They don't know each other. As soon as that fool messes up with Virgo, as soon as Virgo walks out that door, I'm coming. I'm, that, I'm waiting for that loophole. I'm going to sneak in. As soon as things fall apart, as soon as Virgo decides, nope, not going back, it's done, water on the bridge, I'm out of here, 
you got two suitors coming in here for you okay so as soon as there's trouble coming in they're coming in the moment they spot trouble all right so tell me about this king of swords now for some of you you weren't connecting with um a water sign for some of you it's just so let's take the signs out of it for a moment here and just say your past person that was the energy that was going on here these two new people coming in i don't care about the signs these two new people coming in as soon as things start falling apart as soon as there's a a, a crack you got two people waiting here waiting for you to be single virgo and i feel like your person from before is sensing this they know that at any minute if they screw up some of them already have if they screw up they're gonna lose you right now maybe you've already lost this person maybe you've already said that's it but in their mind like i said they don't feel like it's over they don't feel like this is finished yet they're sticking here permanence all right let me see show me this king of swords okay hangman in reverse wow hmm. selfish it's a selfish energy so this um this person coming in this king of swords very intellectual type of a person very strategic coming after you because they want you all for themselves okay point plan period they got a plan this person's coming in with a plan and i told you that they're watching they're watching and saying as soon as that fool messes up as soon as there's a break i'm 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 taking action i'm implementing my plan to come and get virgo <laughs> I'm going to uh, strategically place myself right in the right place so Virgo will see me. Wow. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is drama. This is such a saga. All right. Show me this King of Pentacles. Wait a minute. Okay. So we're going to look at this King of Pentacles in two different ways. The first way we're going to look at this as the second person coming in. And then we're going to look at it as you. oh yeah so this second person is waiting for this whether it was with a scorpio or not death card here scorpionic energy waiting they're, they're waiting until that ends as well they're waiting until your connection with that past person like when it's like oh so fully official that it's like you couldn't even blow air back into this dead horse it won't even come back to life there this person's waiting and for you if this is your energy here, you're going to take somebody up on the offer. Because as far as you're concerned, for some of you, this past thing is, is done. Like I said, it's done for you. Well, at least for now. I mean, it's dead. You're ready for new beginnings, ready for new starts. So you do, for those of you who are just like completely done with the past and you like, you wake up in the morning and you don't even think about this person anymore, you've got new love coming in here. And for those of you who are not completely done with the past, I mean, you still have new love coming in. <clears throat> but be careful because you, you might wind up taking out taking somebody else into your arms who's really going to put in the effort okay you've got the nine of wands here okay so this is an energy of resistance resistance is futile isolation ends here this feels to me because nines are always about completions and endings and transition and it's sitting on the death card which is transition as well um, i feel like whoever uh, the second person is they're going to be very persistent as well 
coming in towards you. We have Pisces energy here too. Coming in towards you. Very persistent. For some of you, if that's your energy, you're not going to let anybody else in just yet until you know in your heart like you're completely finished. If you are completely finished, I feel like you're still going to have your boundaries up a little bit for anyone that's trying to come in and, you know, get on top of you, climb on top of you. But there's attraction and chemistry building here, a very strong magnetic attraction to somebody, somebody new. Okay. Five of swords in reverse on the ten of cups in the reverse. This feels like peace is coming to you. Peace after trouble. Peace after a split. No more fighting. I feel like something from the past is going to end on your end, from your side, or you're just like, I feel, though I got to tell you, some of you, they're just giving me this message that it's not going to be finalized until you meet somebody new. Because I feel like this new person that comes in, it could just be one coming in with that double energy, but as soon as new people come in or one new person comes in, that's really going to put the nail in the coffin for you. That's when you're really going to realize that this thing in the past is over. Because I feel like a lot of you are like, if they had only treated me well when they had me, now they want to treat me well because they can't have me anymore. And I feel like that's what that energy is because of some jealousy and stuff like that. Now they want to work on the partnership. And I feel like a lot of you are just like, it's just a little too late, little too long, and I can't wait. Yep. Let me see this King of Swords. You're going to have to, also, some of you are going to have an option. You're going to have two options here. You're going to meet two new people. Your strength. So we have Leo energy here. <laughs> This King of Swords feels very mighty confident. They feel they have a lot of self-confidence. They're confident in who they are and what they want. When they when they meet someone and they feel that thing with that person and they know that this is their person, they're very confident and they go and they don't make anybody wait. They don't make themselves wait. They go after what they want. And I kind of feel like you like that, <laughs> you know, they might be come across as being selfish in a lot of ways, but they just, I don't feel like this person believes in just hanging around and, you know, our days are numbered here. And this person's like, no, let's do this. Let's get it moving. And the other person, it's kind of like... Once they know that your past thing is done, they're going to be very persistent in coming in. So I do feel for the majority of you, you've got two new people coming in. Okay? Two new lovers. And, and then you've got your past person who wants to try to make something work with you. Um, although, the past person, I don't see them communicating with you. Let's see. Is this past person going to come in and communicate with Virgo or say anything to them? Because I feel like your past person is really having a wake-up call right now. That's all. I think they're coming to terms and they're realizing, oh, shit, you're gone. Virgo's gone. Like, Virgo's not coming back. Let me see. Oh, Four of Wands. Oh, they definitely want a reunion with you. But are they going to communicate with Virgo? Oh, the tower's here. <laughs> they just keep telling me they want, they want, they want. Things are falling apart. They don't want things to fall apart. They want to rebuild. But things are falling apart. That tower moment, phew.
Hmm. They don't have a fear of change anymore, that's for sure. I don't feel like they're fearing this change. They're ready. Okay, Knight of Swords in the reverse, though. Hmm. I do, I do feel that, hmm, I, I feel like for your past person, I just feel like the message here is to be careful with this past person if they're coming back in. I don't really feel like they're, they're coming back in. I feel like they're delaying communication right now because they're really angry or kind of pissed off that you're leaving. Or that you're done with the relationship. <laughs> the high priest, the high priest is here. The hierophant, Taurus energy. Even though they want to connect with you, and they want to be with you. Mm, Ten of Wands, Knight of Cups reversed again. I don't think they're going to communicate with you. Oh, shame on them, right? I don't feel like they're going to reach out and talk to you. I don't during this time period they're going through some hell right now i feel like this person is they're not fully accepting the fact that it's over and they're kind of like they're very salty i feel like because you're moving on here and they're a bit salty and they're just kind of like conflicted and they want to reach out but they're angry and if they reach out when they're angry then things aren't going to go well so they know they probably aren't going to get you back if they come at you with jealousy and envy and anger and stuff like that so they're delaying in the meantime <laughs> you know some shift is, shifts are happening here with this person there's changes all right so yeah with this situation you know i don't feel like you're going to be talking to this person i feel like they're coming to terms with a lot of things right now like maybe that it's finally done or and you're in hermit mode and you are just you're out you're moving on and opening yourself up to other suitors let's see what your other messages are here Virgo, the drama, the drama. Direct, honest female. Hmm. So you could be meeting someone um, who has that energy. Okay. Direct, honest female is coming in. Okay. Not a male, a female. Air energy communication with a friend or someone or the uh, this a female uh, you know whatever you choose however you want I, you're going to be meeting someone or, or talking to someone it's going to give you some truth family celebrations wedding engagement party what who some of you might be getting communication from a, a female tell you she's maybe there's an invite to an engagement party or a wedding or some kind of a family celebration maybe you'll get like um uh, i feel like an invite or some card in the mail or some kind of like invite or something maybe you're going to a wedding or something <clears throat> or invited to a family reunion hmm that's interesting or you meet this female and she tells you you know or you get invited to her home or she tells you she wants to be married or you meet somebody at a family reunion celebration wedding or an engagement party coming up <laughs> okay victory recognition and applause wow virgo you're going to definitely be getting some you're getting recognized that's for sure in october you've got a couple of suitors coming in here or one who's in this double energy but yes <clears throat> I look at this word applause and I feel like applesauce, maybe crisscross applesauce. You're getting somebody coming in here who's going to be definitely trying to win your heart. You're definitely going to be like in the limelight, I feel, in October. You're going to be in the limelight. Let's see what else. Popular social female. Maybe that's you. Maybe these females are you or this person you're going to meet. I can't believe it. <clears throat> this is queen of wands energy this is queen of air energy queen of fire and queen of air so air and fire let's see okay hope when you wish to make good 
when you when you wish upon a star it makes no difference who you are dreams come true your hope faith and wishes are being restored virgo make a wish right now and believe it is yours so if you guys have been hoping or praying or wishing to meet someone yeah <clears throat> it's th that's definitely coming in okay your your hopes being restored you you're not going to be you're no longer in this past energy okay um, I feel like this past energy is happening is happening within your person and I just feel for some of you it's too late right or you're putting them on the back burner and letting them go through whatever they need to wake up and realize things and in the meantime you've got somebody coming in or two people coming in who are just waiting for you to be away from this past energy okay um, so that they can pounce <laughs> just so, so they can pounce they can make their move waiting for the right time to make their move all right let's see what your your love messages are here time apart some distance will help bring clarity so i feel like this is you taking some time away from this person from your past and leaving yourself open for other suitors or other options okay obstacles unhealed wounds are blocking forward movement what else here and now your true love is already part of your life some of you like i said you may know this person from these new people or person coming in okay there's attraction and chemistry has always been there but I mean, some of you got sidetracked by someone from the past who may not have been very good for you and you're coming to terms with that and getting away from that um some of you may have already been away yeah you've been on your own completely on your own and whatever this person's going through you're like i don't even care anymore i've been so far distant from that connection for such a long time it's just no it's water on the bridge i don't care but kel who are these new people coming in holla so pay attention to that remember as i say in the beginning not all the messages will resonate take what fits and for those of you who are just not connecting with this past energy anymore, like I said, you've got new coming in for sure. And two people. At least one. Okay. Twin flame. This is a divine part counter. This is a divine counterpart connection. Oh, we love those tim twin flame connections, don't we? <clears throat> it's divinely guided. That's how I feel. All right, let's get your moonology messages here divinely guided connection okay have faith in your dreams okay don't give up hope don't give up faith waxing crescent moon prosperity lies ahead new moon in taurus see i told you good things are coming for you virgo and I know a lot of you are like, but when? When am I going to meet this person? Um, for some, the 10 is in reverse. So as I feel, you've already met them. Maybe you met them yesterday or last month. Okay, maybe they're in, surrounded in a group of your friends or connected to your family home or maybe they're at work. I do feel um, for others, the end of October somebody may be coming in here okay time to breathe out weird didn't you did you get that yesterday take time to breathe out you're still breathing out some of you are exhaling waiting to exhale quit waiting <laughs> and surrender to the divine beautiful your messages are so beautiful um all right let's get your charms see what's going on <clears throat> Okay, whole bunch. Ooh, whole bunch. All right, we're back with the tennis rackets. Okay, somebody's playing tennis or does play tennis. Okay, swinging the ball back and forth. I, that kind of gives me a sense where this new person you're going to meet, it's going to be like evenly matched. Swinging the ball back and forth. You're going to take turns with each other in this relationship. A lot of turn taking. It won't be one person dominating the whole show or dictating or telling you or having things their way like they think they're a freaking Burger King. 
All right, so you've also got a moose with antlers. <clears throat> oh, I just heard Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. Okay, Christmas might be playing. Somebody's name could be Rudolph or the city or town or street. I just heard Rudolph. Okay, um, maybe somebody has, okay, this person, there's somebody here with a goatee or somebody coming in with a goatee. And I also feel like, um, Hmm. Oh, somebody have a moose head hanging on their um, their wall? A moose head? Somebody plays music. Okay, there's a connection to music here. And also, there's a okay. Somebody works in um as a nurse. I felt maybe you have a shirt that has a red heart on it, or somebody works as a nurse or in a in the medical field heart health i heard heart health or somebody's last name might be heart and then we've got a monkey here okay year of the monkey doesn't it feel like this monkey the year of the monkey shows up all the time so i'm gonna get another one here what the heck is that what the heck is this o m G. It's a witch on a broom. I've never pulled this before. It's a witch on a broom. Okay, Halloween. October 31st, for those of you who don't celebrate Halloween. Harvest Day, whatever you want to call it. <clears throat> or is it Day of the Dead? I don't know. Halloween. Somebody, maybe your costume, you're going to dress up like a witch. You're going to go to a Halloween party. Are they having Halloween parties during COVID? I don't know. A lot of people have vac are vaccinated. But um, maybe you'll meet someone who's dressed in costume like a witch. Um, or maybe this person has witchy vibes. Um, you're dressing up like a witch. I mean, there's something occurring in, on around the 31st of the last week. Remember I said the end of the month. Um, there could be um, meeting someone, it could be at a party or a cup. See, that's why I feel like there, there's two people. So you're going somewhere where there's like an event or a lot of people where you're going to get the opportunity to meet. So if you have an opportunity or there's an invite or um, to go to something, which I feel like you're going to get wherever it might be, take it. Be social. Get out there and meet people. Get out there and talk to people or just socialize with people from, or friends from the past or people you haven't seen in a while. Get reacquainted with others. A lot of you were in some kind of relationship that was toxic. Toxic, controlling, um, manipulative, um, emotionally manipulative. Um, uh, there was jealousy and envious and stuff like that. Like I said, it doesn't have to be a King of Cups, doesn't have to be a Scorpio, but whomever your per you know who your person was. And however you want to put the signs, go ahead. But don't go up to people and say, hey, what's your sign? Oh, you were in the reading. That must be you, because that might not be true. They're, they could be like, um, somebody could be a Capricorn, right? Because they said Capricorn. They could be a Capricorn and have, you know, air or... Um, earth somewhere in their placement right so you got to be discerning and get to know the person but i do see two people going to be very interested in you definitely and maybe even asking you um you know are you single you might even tell somebody well um i am now i i ended a relationship because there was controlling or abusive behavior listen um the five of swords five is Fives are always numbers about change, uncertainty, inconsistency. Um, and this is also about freedom, freedom from a relationship that fell apart. Okay. Five of Swords energy is always about like coming to a place of peace after trouble. Somebody may have got ca gotten caught doing something and you left it or you walked away from it. Okay, so you definitely have new love. I do it. I see a lot of, I do it. I do see it. I see a lot of attraction and chemistry. Um, you're attracting, you're attracting people because you're letting go. You know, people can pick up your energy. People know that when you're, um, even if you're not with someone, but you still have their energy within them, people can pick that up when you meet them because you don't smile, you don't flirt, you don't, you know, you're not, 
really putting yourself out there unless you're just naturally a flirt but generally people can tell you don't look at them in the eye you don't you know when you're not trying to find somebody if you're still in this position of you're trying to let go of a past relationship like you're out of it but person's still in your energy you may be giving off vibes that you're not interested in anyone i kind of feel like for a lot of you um no you're gonna be interested you're gonna be flirting you're gonna be opening yourself up you're gonna be smiling more and i feel like when somebody or others come in that's when it's really gonna hit home for you i didn't look at this charm Ooh, imagine imagine all the people living for the hill you may say i'm a dreamer but I'm not the only one. Imagine Dragon. I just heard they gave me the name Imagine Dragons. Imagine, I don't know what, oh, wait, is that that song? It was only a kiss. How did it end up like this? It was only a kiss. Okay, I'm leaving your reading. <laughs> my singing skills are not so great today. So yeah, go over and check out my other channel, the Capricorn reading. You might find that interesting. Um, that'll be tomorrow night. Tonight, I'm uploading Taurus on Moon Pie Tarot channel. So if you're a Virgo with a Taurus, you know, definitely go over and check those out. Or whomever, if you, whoever you're connecting with, if you're a cross watcher, you want to cross watch, you can go over there and do that. All right. Um, so I'm going to leave you reading there, you guys. Thank you. Um, just a quick little notice. I'm starting to make candles. And I will be listing them soon after I get them all pre-made. Um, but they're going to have surprise charms in them. Okay? So as the candles melt down, they will reveal a special charm um, just for you. You won't know what it is. It's kind of like a little surprise gift inside the cereal box. You never know what you're going to get. But... Um, <laughs> I'm going to leave this here for you guys to so keep your eye out for that. I can't wait to get started. My, my daughter-in-law came over today and we were making candles today and, and it was really awesome. So she's going to help me with them. And then, um, yeah, if you guys are interested in anything she has, her um, name on Etsy is My Wicked Craft. And I'll put a link below this video if you have any interest. A lot of people bought stuff from her. She's super, super talented. And um, she makes all kinds of witchy, cool uh, stuff. And she even does tarot card readings. And um, But she doesn't do them on YouTube here. She just does everything Etsy. So definitely check her out. All right, you guys. Love you very much. And I will see you tomorrow. Bye.